As we finished up here at the Oregon Green Expo, I've noticed a camping yurt from CampingYurts.com. And I'm here with Richard Waters, the designer and builder of camping yurts. And I'm curious, what's the difference between this and a camping tent and something you see in these state parks, these big, heavy, kind of complex yurts? The yurts that you see in campgrounds and state parks, they're the permanent yurts. They're made with vinyl, uh, chemicals, yes. whatever. Uh, this is a, a portable camping yurt, so it's something you can put up and take down really easily. It's lightweight, it's canvas, natural canvas, so there's no chemicals, it's a completely natural product, a green product. Yes. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it really, that's the difference. It's lightweight and portable. How long, how long does it take to put these up? I mean, they, to me it would seem it's kind of a complex operation. Yeah, it looks heavy, but it's not at all. We'll go inside in a minute, you can have a look and see. But it, uh, it takes about uh, half an hour to three quarters of an hour to put up. Uh, and everything just assembles very easily. This yurt will fit on the roof of your car. It's not that heavy, so everything will go on the roof of a car. If you've got a pickup, great. It'll even go in the back of a, a station wagon. And we have a larger unit over here. Can we uh, take a look at that one? Yeah, come inside. Wow, this is, uh, it's a lot more spacious than what I had uh, what yeah, I'd imagined. It, doesn't, it, looks, uh, it looks small from the outside, but there's 200 square feet in here. As a kid, we used to camp in a teepee, and it was quite a pain to move the thing, and it was it was very uncomfortable because it was so, it, it was just so confining. But here, I'm I'm over six foot. You're obviously six foot tall. I've got a lot of room. Yeah, I'm I'm six foot three, but there's plenty of headroom here. Yeah. The trouble with the teepee is there's it, the angle of the roof means there's very little area you can actually stand up in. Yeah. Okay, Richard, I noticed uh, you've got a hole in your roof, and we're in Oregon. It rains a lot here. Uh, what what do you do with that? Yeah, well, when we go camping, we use one of these, an umbrella. And so you insert that, oh, I see, through the top. And uh, do you have a dome or something else? Yeah, if it's for a more permanent setting, then we, uh, we have polycarbonate domes, and you can fix those to the, to the hole, and it'll cover it completely. And at night, it's good because it keeps the warmth in, too. And I noticed that you've got a, uh, it ventilates really very nicely with the, with the hole in here. It's, it's very comfortable. It's no warmer in here than it is outside. Right. I mean, what you can do is you can raise the side, the bottom of the, uh, the yurt wall, and that'll let air in, and then the updraft, all the hot air goes out the roof. So it's very cool. And it's very sturdy. I mean, it, it looks a little precarious, but it's actually very strong. This is very strong. I'll, I'll demonstrate for you. Okay. Oh, my. It's... Uh, yeah, it doesn't flex at all. Yeah, I mean, it's incredibly strong. I mean, you just saw you can stand on the roof of this and nothing will happen. I also noticed you've got a, you've got a stove over here. What, what is that? Yeah, that's a wood stove. It's got a water tank on the side there. Uh, you can cook on the top of it. There's a heating tray too. Um, yeah, and we, we haven't got it in the yurt right now, but there's a, a stove shield, which is fireproof, so the actual stove pipe can go through the roof. Okay, so you've got hot water and uh, you can use whatever's available and, uh, yeah. for fuel. Yeah, it's a wood stove, so we bring our wood with us, and that's how we, we cook and keep the place warm in, in you know cooler climates. Very nice. Uh, if I want to build one of these, do you're, you sell complete kits? We sell them at every stage of completion. So you can buy a yurt ready to go complete. You can buy just the, uh, the ring and the canvas, and you could do the wood yourself. Or you can buy it, the wood and the poles, and you finish it, varnish it, or you could do the whole thing yourself. It's, it's whatever stage you want to start at. You know, Richard, uh, as, I, as I sit here and uh, I notice the amenities, it's, it's really quite comfortable, uh, much more so than a camp trailer or a camping tent. Uh, I, I see you've got a very comfortable looking bed there that's, that's collapsible. It looks like it folds up quite small, the collapsible chairs, uh, table, everything's collapsible, but it, it's got the feel of a, of a living room. Yeah, well, you're limited by uh, only your imagination. However you want to furnish your yurt, you can. You're, you're limited, obviously, by the space of your vehicle. Uh, but if you've got a backyard, uh, you want you want a yurt in your backyard, you can kit it out like the the 12 foot you were in earlier. Yeah, and I, I noticed that. And you've got a, a fire pit in there, and there's some Persian carpets and, and rugs. And I was thinking it might be kind of nice if you got guests over for a bar something a little different. You could have your Mongolian barbecue right in the backyard. Yeah, right. I mean, you saw the fire pit. You have fire in there. You, you, that will naturally go out the roof. Yeah, you, it's, you can set it up exactly how you want. 